Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back from another Tales of Eren gameplay video. And uh, I want to try this uh, Boreal. This is the new patch. So, uh, Soul Spirit. Evolve Spirit. Boreal looks so strong. It's crazy. It's crazy how strong she looks. And how strong she seems to be. Uh, Alright, stage reward. Chapter 113. Okay, this is easy. Whatever, just use this team. I'm uh, I'm still working on uh, power, like leveling this divinity. The first one, uh, the Great Soul of Sins, or whatever it's called, is already powered up to uh, to level 20. So I am not getting any XP there. There's supposed to be a small update, maintenance. I've been getting double everything in the, in the event uh, for the story uh, chapter battles. Double gold, double jades, beside double costumes, of course. Can't stack costumes. Did they hot fix this? No, a thousand five hundred. Jade seems to be doubled still, because this is only a uh, chapter one. So let me. Uh, this is in the achievement now. So let me go and grab that. Get all three. This is so good. I don't know if it's because I'm doing it in extreme. That it's giving it to me, uh, giving all three. But this could be it. I mean, this is extra damage. But I wanted to do it for her, so I'm gonna do it. If you want more, it's still the same place. So there's going to be another achievement, you can just repeat it. Thing's crazy. But I don't have costumes to feed it. Well, I kind of have these two. Not quite ready to uh, use that team though. As you can see her health is too low, her attack is not, low enough, is not high enough. Uh, Utega I need to respect actually. Definitely need to power this, this, and uh, probably gonna go with the ultimate. Reset 20,000 gold. Yeah, whatever. She's, she's just a support, really. She's just a support. And uh, I'm using Shadow in the setup, but I should be using uh, Elvis or Petrolia. But I don't want to swap gear for Petrolia, so that's why I'm running, running, running it this way. Witch hunt. Let's do this one. Uh, cause of battle. Yeah, not gonna use this team. <clears throat> I, I can be using uh, Wulian and Garcia together. That's what I was using before. But uh, decided to use Lotus Moon. Especially now that I'm not using the first Divinity, I don't have defense down. So that 30% defense down is actually helpful. Quite helpful, I might say. Now, Lotus Moon, I did uh, three uh, Evolve sessions on her uh, Soul costume. Her Soul costume is level 3. It's just I need costumes to feed it into her to, to increase her uh, 
her power. The third level of the soul costume, the, the third skill, doesn't seem to be stacking uh, in the interface. It's not saying that it's going up. I thought it would uh, stack, but it could just be the gold is still doubled. Cost, uh, you see, this is crazy. It's crazy good. Garcia is running triple attack and HP uh, blades. Uh, two have skill 10, one has skill 9, I believe. Might as well give him some offense. The backline does not need offense, uh, I mean HP. It's a great setup with the defense down and then Mao that goes. I mean, Garcia just deals a bit more damage when he has uh, this gear. It's just he needs the HP to, to be tanky enough to be able to take the hits. More HP means he heals for more, means he, he gets healed f from himself, from his skill 1 and from... What kind of damage did he just take there? And from Petralia, yeah, he gets healed for more, and the Absorb Shield uh, is 25% of his max HP, so the more HP he has, the better it is. And that actually hit for a lot. The, it was the two, uh, two water monsters there. I mean, he's doing a bit of damage. Oh, the three water monsters there. Check his HP, and then get ready, ready with the Healing Divinity. But still, you see like the monsters are getting like knocked back, knocked up. Then Mao goes, it's over. Easy peasy. Uh, that stage was actually really good, the Sun Pearl. Sun Pearl. Yeah, yeah. But for me, it's all about uh, doing the hardest difficulty and... Oh my god, the hardest chapter and Garcia just got bursted down. Oh my god. Two waves here. That was some crazy damage. What was that? I guess the damage can be avoided. Wow. Do I really? I guess I'm gonna just go, gonna put some HP costumes on Garcia and screw the uh, hybrid blades. Let's uh, move some heroes back. Mao needs to survive. Even with Garcia down, they can still do it. That was some crazy damage. I want to see this again. <clears throat> I'm curious. Is that like he did not get one shot at like this before? Now he used his skill one in time. Last time, I think he might have used it too early. Now the defense buff is up. He can heal himself. He's got absorb shield. It's all good. So it, it, he might have been critted by the monster. <clears throat> that was messed up. He got like critted like once or twice to to have died that quickly. But I can, I can definitely be using some self buffing costumes. He's gonna have more health. Also, he's gonna have way more health because it, it's more HP and it the, the costumes are level 100. Let, let, let me change it. I don't think he's actually... 
change. Uh, not equipped. So you see the stuff? Uh, you see the buffs on these things? It's 9, but still. Attack of fire. Wait. Breakthrough. Undone. Oh, you can choose multiple. Interesting. Crit 6 and Crit 6. Level 9, level 10. Gonna go with that setup. Uh, this can be changed for <coughs> fire type. Any tome that have been broken through 4, 3, 2, or was. Nope. These gloves. Nice HP, but I've got plenty of attack on the team. Uh, Wu Lian, she can be just all. Just take the swords back. Just have her like this for now. Where's that? Uh, hmm, whatever. Now Lotus Moon. One gun, and the other one's on patrol. You're right. Or I would be seeing a lot of white numbers. Yeah. Let's go back in there. Look, fifty-three point six k on him now. I could be using triple self-buffing costumes. <laughs> the team was needing, uh, was missing a bit of crit. Uh, it comes down to the same thing because one of those uh, self-buffing HP one does not have crit team crit. Like, it doesn't matter, like, Garcia doesn't do damage. He's there to just... Tank. I wonder how much damage uh, Lotus Moon would deal. If I put some self-buffing costumes on her. But her attack is not stacking like I thought it would. So I don't know what's up. And she, she's not as overpowered as I thought she would be. Well, she's definitely strong. Mao's the real damage dealer in this setup. Did not get lucky with a lower light pole, unfortunately. That was a lot of damage Garcia took there. Petrolia is just so good. If you don't have Petrolia, your Garcia is gonna take a lot of damage. Because the defense, she, uh, the defense boost, with like that, that absorbed shield on top of the heal is, is really strong on top of the defense increase. Just a great kit. You could just get even more health on your Garcia, and run uh, Nefiru and just like. Well, I don't know if you have to. Yeah, you're gonna need to control the monsters. So I Petrolia, Nefiru, Garcia, 
Mao, and uh, you know you could you could also have Wu Lian instead of Lotus Mood, and you could have Wu Lian with the triple uh, attack HP hybrid uh, swords, the Fire Scorch Skies uh, swords, and if Garcia is about to rip, just move him back and have Wu Lian take a couple hits. She's gonna counter immediately, which is gonna disable one monster. Because the monster is gonna get knocked up. And then Garcia might give time for Garcia to get healed. Especially if you're running uh, Nefiru. You can. Uh, the heal from Nefiru is gonna affect the whole team. So that's why you can bounce your characters around. Also, titles, don't forget your titles, uh, if you got the triple star from Guild War, that's 25% uh, attack, uh, it, it boosts the base stats, and 20% uh, 20, uh, 20 HP increase, I think. I'm using a Perfectionist because it deals the most damage from all the titles that I have. It boosts the party damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to be maybe a different multiplier I have not done heavy testing but it does seem like it uh, it increased the damage more than the other title and uh, there's also top players using it which leads me to believe that it's on a, it's at a different multiplier and it might yeah it, it might multiply your whole damage What I need is, let me look for that material, where is it, that's what you do, you just look at what drops, you just, you can, yeah, this one, this, I need fire lizard hides, I need those for Mao, and I'm low on those anyways, I needed those for, uh, for Lotus, Lotus Moon actually. So it's good to uh, up my supply. Man, I hope they keep the double dr uh, drops like gold, jade. I know soul costume materials are getting double drop for sure. But I was like, yeah, they're not gonna do. I I'm not sure about the XP materials. It was not in the image, and it was specifically stated that it was for soul costume materials. So yeah, it could be the the, the hot fix that's coming. I don't know what, what's going on. I mean, maybe they did the fix already. The fix was for some bug. I don't think I was seeing the message on the main screen anymore. It was like restart or server restart for one minute. That last one minute. That, that was the, the update that they wanted to do. I could go back on the home, home screen and check. I mean, I'm just trying to, to, to farm, chain farm this in case they take out the double jade and gold drop, because it's too good. Not gonna lie. I, I hope they keep it in there. It's just great for everyone. Look at this. Uh, which one was it? Wing of Love 1, okay. So good. So wait, I already did the soul costume to, of Boreal up to level 3. I had all the materials for that. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, I can do Nefiru next. Uh, I think level 3 soul costume is pretty good. It's pretty. You don't really need to go higher than that. Because it's just gonna boost the skill on the 4th and on the 5th 
And those boosts are not like extreme damage boosts. Yes, you will increase the level uh, that your soul costume can have. So you're going to have more stats. So that's one thing. But the, the stats that are going to be required are harder to obtain. Uh, especially on the fifth one. You're going to need like materials from, uh, from the guild shop. Right? And... On the fourth one, you're already needing some materials you have to craft in the exchange, uh, in the workshop, and then go in exchange. And it's requiring a lot of stuff, so you've got to uh, to be careful there, not like use all these precious materials on some four-star hero that you might just drop in a couple days or a couple weeks. You have to think about the end game. I'm perfectly fine with the level three on the soul costumes. All all the materials are very uh, easily obtained. Uh, you can farm crystals in the massive battles, so don't forget don't forget about the massive battle. Just run uh, the campaign, run the uh, battle uh, story battle, and then you get gold, right? And then with that gold, of course, you just run massive battles, and you just uh, I mean you just keep that cycle going. And then uh, do your exchange every day for that. Uh, I'll, I'll go and show you. For that, uh, that's the, the you've got the uh, fate Fates fate spring uh, water material that's easily obtained. You just need the normal crystal, three of each element, and you can exchange ten of those every day. But the other one you can only exchange five, and you need the tier two of the crystals, and you need. Uh, I believe it's three as well so yeah that's that and then uh, like Mao on her fourth level for the soul costume she's needing some uh, gold badge and now you've got to go and craft gold badges which are gonna be available in the chapter 5 so you, you've got to be uh, careful like are you gonna stick with Mao is is mono fire your your main your is it really gonna be your main team? Now, if you decide to power up Mao, think about it. Like, do you really need to now? Uh, maybe you should focus on Hira for the Guild War. You need to work on your Mono Water team or uh, or three water plus one uh, water team. Like, if you're gonna run with Petralia, <laughs> but I think it's it's better to run with four water characters because of all the the party buffs, of defense, attack and all that good stuff much easier to uh, power up the stats with uh, with costumes now the problem is that you don't you don't have costumes uh, for team buffing outside of crafting so you've got to craft and hope for uh, origin costumes tier 4 for team attack HP and crit uh, I've got one crit gun so far I've got one origin pair of gloves, uh, the claws for team attack that goes up 40%, and I've got one origin tome for 40% HP for the team. That's all that I got so far. I started crafting not too long ago, so yeah. But I got lucky with the the crit gun. So if I get a second crit gun, uh, I I don't need to run uh, blades on the team, so I can run triple self buffing attack on Hira. Uh, I got Renescan from the runs of characters, luckily. So I'm gonna run Hira, Renescan, uh, Sarta, and uh, I was saying like Petralia, but wait, wait, no, no, wait, sorry. Uh, there's there's Shiro, there, there's Shiro there. Yeah, of course, you need a healer. So I can drop Sarta and have Petralia. If someone brings Sarta in my duo group for the Hell Boss in Guild War, we're gonna be running the buff. So I mean, we don't need insane stats like six and over six hundred thousand power. But water is very tanky. So yeah, if I run Petralia, it's gonna up the defenses even more. But there's already defense increase on the team, so her defense increase value is gonna, not going to be like as powerful because there's already a good portion already granted. And Petralia is going to take more damage from the boss, so she's going to need uh, a good amount of HP. 
So she she might like one self buffing HP costume is not gonna be enough. She's gonna need two. Now she could be running one with the illusion illusory Nirvana sword, uh, if uh, skill ten that uh, that gives sixty percent attack and HP for human characters, which means that's Petralia and Sarta in my group, uh, uh, Shiro as well. Well, if I bring Petralia, yeah, I can't have uh, Sarta. So yeah, and boost two characters. It's it's not bad, but attack on uh, Shiro and Petralia yeah, is not that uh, important, I guess. Oh, yeah, Shiro. If he has more attack, it's gonna heal a lot more. It's like the Firu, the max HP part heals for doesn't heal for that much. <clears throat> Should go check my four star costume like Nifiru. that let's check it out oh no there it is oh. no I don't want to download it <laughs> they're not gonna let me in the game that's gonna be it there, there's gonna be a nerf in there. <clears throat> we'll see. So that last match, it was a stamina loss there, probably. Because the client version was wrong. The Firu. Where you at, girl? Soul Spirit. Evolve spirit. Man, if my fate spring water dropped. Fire lizard hide. I've got everything needed. And what's this one? I've got her star gem already. All the other stuff. Nothing crazy, like. It is definitely cheap. Because I've had some of the materials already farmed. Now this thing. You see, you've got to be careful with these things. It's wrong. I can just go battle. And I know... Was it here? No. Wings of Love. You see it drops here. But the game is like, no. You, you can't... You, wait. Wait. Why was the stage locked? The third one. Because I didn't have the stamina at that time. Let's just go back. I've got to see this. Evolve spirit. Boom. Yeah, stage reward. Oh, chapter 5. Yeah, okay. You see? Gold badge. That's where you get them. Chapter 5, though. So yeah, the game is uh, not super smart about this stuff. So let's go here. Let's see. Was the double gold drop and jade, and maybe even character and uh, character and costume XP material double drop were a mistake? I feel like the J double J drop was definitely a mistake. And I mean the gold, double gold, it has to be a mistake because there's no gold needed in Soul Costume Evolution.
We'll see. We'll see. I did I did farm some gold and some jade in the meantime. Nothing crazy. I'm sure there's people that have been farm chain farming this stuff. Like it, people that are on Discord, they're like, yo, double gold and jade draw, and then like people are like chaining chapter one like battles in like 20 seconds one after the next but even then that's not very efficient well if that's the the, the faster uh it's just you don't get that much gold it, it was like a thousand five hundred in chapter one when i had to get some material for soul costume uh, like an orb it's two well it was two thousand four hundred here because it's one thousand two hundred bays now let's see the moment of truth boys moment of truth Please, give us double gold. Yes! Double gold is there. Yes. Oh, uh, we're lucky. Now the jade. Let's run this until I get jade. I was getting like 80 jade, right? 80 jade. Oh wait, was it the first time completion thing? Was it a first time completion? It could be. Well, we're we're gonna see. This goes fairly fast. Man, if I want to have more on these fights, it's gonna be way more HP, way more HP than she has now. I was thinking like Val, I've got to work on her spirit, her soul costume, her spirit skill. Definitely have to do that. There might be a whole story for that. Hero as well, of course, but it's not the big rush here. I, I need to work on my wind team so I can speed farm uh, water massive battles. The uh, team is pretty decent now. It's just I need to work on powering up the skill some more. You got a week for the next uh, Guild War, so I'm fine. I've got the resources for it. Especially since we're getting double gold drop. No, that's super overpowered. I can easily run this a thousand times. And it's not even going to consume all my stamina potions. Think about stamina being replenished every day. The daily stamina. And all the potions you're getting daily. Plus the ones that are buying from the shop. Now the value of gold went down. Meaning that you should be thinking about uh, speed, doing instant explorations on the 10,000 gold. If you're free to play, you should stop it if they keep the good double drop of gold. Like as they release more chapters... Imagine it's still 15 stamina to open chapter 5 extreme and it gives even more gold and then chapter 6 and then chapter 7, you know? It's more and more gold and you can just do massive battles join up all the time Really good stuff Yeah, yeah I'm gonna check Vala's uh, soul costume after this but now I was working on getting the material for a Nefiru's turn, even though I'm not using her. And I'm not I'm probably not gonna use her for a while. But it's fine. I'll do it for just for the sake of it. I'm not gonna feed her costumes though. Because I'm not using her. Lotus Moon, she's useful to me right now. 
But I can do all the extreme battles with just Petralia. But I mean, it's, it, it might be a different story for a lot of you guys. You just, you don't have Petralia, you, you are like, already like, taking a lot of... Damn! It is double drop for Jade as well. Well guys, if they don't notice it until a couple days, or if they leave it, if they leave it like this, oh, farm boys, oh, I had to go check Val after this, sorry guys, <laughs> just farm like crazy, use a good portion of your, of the, the potions that you have stocked up, uh, you're gonna have enough for guild war probably, I mean, you're not gonna be missing gold, that's for sure. You know, like, people are gonna be like, in guild, they're gonna be, yeah, you need to, like, create games, but they're probably gonna have spent most of their stamina. I mean, the job has to be uh, split. You can't just open the game for your whole guild. People have to contribute. Stamina seems to be very precious in this game. <laughs> Being able to uh, to get as much gold as we're getting now. <laughs> 2,400 for 15 stamina. You, uh, you do times 10 to that. For 150 stamina, getting uh, 24,000 gold. It is crazy. It is crazy. So I was trying to do the math here. Just give me a second. <clears throat> so, 2,400 gold. No, you take 100 stamina divided by 15, uh, 6 points. 6, 6 repeating of course then you do uh, times 2400 gold and you're at 16,000 gold for large potion 16,000 gold that's divided by 3000 that's 5.33 repeating of course uh, massive battles in hell 5 massive battles in hell if you create massive battles uh if you create massive battles, it's costing you 30 stamina to open them. So a large potion is only 3.33 uh, repeating. Of course, uh, versus that 5, you are guaranteed to get 2 drops when you open the, the games. But, uh, I mean, if you rank first... Uh, you're gonna get way more out of uh, the two extra massive battle versus just opening three. But whatever. What I'm trying to say is that with the large, right, you are farming materials here, you're farming XP for divinities, you are getting uh, XP materials uh, for characters, for costumes, you're getting Jade, uh, and of course you're getting the gold. And then you use that gold to run massive battles. So that's that's over three massive battles in hell on top of having farmed all that stuff before with the stamina. So you you see what I mean? Like how, how powerful stamina is? So uh, yeah, you, if you were just buying two stamina potions every day, uh, Vala, you should be, uh, you should be uh, reverting to buying four which I should be doing now. I'm not sure how many I bought. I only bought two. And uh, yeah, you should go back to buying four stamina potions if you were only buying two. Or if you're buying zero, you should definitely consider buying uh, at least two. At least. If you're saving up for, uh, for gacha pulls, at least get two. Alright, stamina, 
and uh, here no val after this. So give two people. It's fine. I'll do it later. Just Vala Soul Spirit. Click to unlock. Boom. Evolve. We've got the materials. It looks like. Boom. That seems really powerful. Three. Well, I'll show you the skills after. But okay, I can. Oh no, I can't. I have to go get this material, but look at this. When battle starts, party gain three layers of time shield. Eh, it's free. It's free. It's uh, three attacks. Uh, and there's no duration. So what about if if the battle has a massive hit coming up in like 30 seconds, one minute? I think time shield actually lasts like 25 seconds or 30 seconds though. Now this thing, this thing is not that powerful, but this thing... This doubles her heal over time. The initial heal... Uh, the initial heal is getting a buff, small buff, but the heal over time is doubled from 4% every 3 seconds for 30 seconds to 8%. That's insane. Wait, what? No, 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 wait a second. It's still 4%? On the Japanese website, it was 8%. So it's either she's getting buffed later, or because it's not activated. Anyways, I, I have to do it. I have to do it, so I'm going to evolve and get these things. Of course, it's setting me to chapter 5. Anyways, I'm just going to go and farm this stuff later. Divinity Wood Piece... I can try to look it up. But you have to do it this way. That's just the way it goes. Well, this can give you an idea of where stuff drops. So this, the Dark Troll, this is a... What fight is this? 4-3-3? Three, three? Yeah, it could be a hard battle. So you could look... For a non-boss battle, this is uh, another boss battle, but it's 472, so this is really gonna hurt. This is another boss battle. So you can just look through the stages. Dragon Clan, it's water based. I know I'm low on these as well, so this could be pretty good. Same with this, I don't have too many. This is a healer's badge as well, so Dragon Clan 3. Just run this thing once and I think I'm gonna call it guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Astronox. Like, comment and subscribe for more. And uh, good luck with the with the farming. I mean it's pretty uh, static the drops here. Uh, the jade is luck based. But uh, the the rare materials some of them take a couple runs to get. But whatever, we're getting double. So if you think about it, you're going to have to balance your materials for uh, future 5 star characters. Might as well farm them now, right? Because it's double drop and, and, and you're also getting extra XP materials. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's such a strong event. It's ridiculously strong. It's like Utega was like overpowered. Good. Now this, it's like I would, we're all the gold, but no, wait, with all, like I farm so many medium stamina potions, at least a hundred from Utega, or maybe it was like a hundred, but that's, you see that Jade, man, you see it's, it's so good, a hundred is five thousand stamina, guys, that's so many runs, anyways, that's it for this one, what's this? Oh. Okay, thanks. Oh, because I unlock her soul costume. Wait a sec. If I go and uh, on characters, uh, Hira. There we go. Uh. 
All right. Freezing action points, so overpowered. Oh, wow. Increased attack of spirit characters in the party. Unfortunately, it's only going to be her, but still. Pretty good. And I believe uh, Nicholas, where's she at? She's at the top here. Yeah, I've, I've unlocked her stuff. Oh yeah, I've seen it already. Alright, now let's go check the achievement. Any more gems? Nope. Oh yeah. Alright, that's it for this. Thanks for watching again. Peace out for now.